Sauter in the white started at the tail leads to the flag for the final stage here at Pocono. Of course, Sauter's teammate Haley is going to jump down and help Matt Kraft and give him a little bit of a push. And look at the run John Hunter Nemechek got to the outside of Justin Haley in that 24. Ooh, Crafton got a little bit loose. Had to chase his truck up the hill. That opened the bottom for Haley. Johnny Sauter to the point, started at the tail, now leads the race. John Hunter Nemechek in that green truck coming in for second. That's Enfinger on the very inside of Crafton in the 98 truck. And look at those two black trucks on the bottom. Oh, oh God. God. Contact in the... That was contact with the 24 of Haley. Kyle Busch going around. It was hard to tell which truck that Bush made that contact with, but the 24 of Justin Haley definitely was that truck. And there's Bono Mannion, the crew chief for Kyle Bush. He knows it's all over. He's taking the window net down. You don't you don't back in the wall in the uh, in the tunnel turn without having some pretty significant damage. Remember, he restarted ninth, but back in the pack, and you could see Christopher Bell gets to the bottom of the 90 or, or the 24 of Haley and Haley just tries to squeeze down. I don't know if he even knew Kyle was there yet and I'm they not, made that contact. I'm not sure he knew he was there, but by the time he pulled down and squeezed Kyle, Kyle was about two thirds of a truck ahead of him and he should have been able to see him then. See Kaz Grala well down off the road, just making sure he avoids any potential problem. A fortunate as crowded as it, as it is right here that more than just Kyle Busch suffered damage. I'm going to retract my statement. I think he knew it was there. I just think maybe he was trying to squeeze him down. It could have very easily collected several. That's a very vulnerable spot right there, too, going in that tunnel turn. Almost no way, no way to save that truck, Michael. How about on board with Kyle Busch? This is a brand new Toyota Tundra. Kyle's driving, just pushing his teammate along. I think he would have been okay with the initial contact, but but then when Haley hit him the second time, he hit him in that right rear corner and just turned him sideways. Yeah, when I think they made the first contact, I wasn't sure Haley knew he was there, but at this point, at this point, he knows he's there, but he doesn't back off or roll up to the high side and give Kyle any break at all. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot of room in the tunnel turn at all. I mean, running side by side through the tunnel turn is pretty challenging in itself. So this really opens up the play a little bit here now because we talked to, from the very beginning, who's going to beat Kyle Busch? Well, now Kyle Busch is out and it's wide open. Still plenty of racing left to go. Kyle climbs out after hitting the wall in turn two. Coming back to Pocono.